welcome back to another video and for today i will be talking about perfumes with white flowers or white flower notes in it so this is kind of related to my previous video so if you haven't seen that one um, i will put the link in the description box if you're interested so it was about kim kardashian edp perfume which i blind bought and made me disappointed because that perfume is dominated by white flowers like a straight uh, white flowers and it has jasmine it has tube rose and those are the kind of white flowers that i find really strong and got like a vintage vibe it's just not something that i like not some not for me so after that video i realized that i don't totally hate white flower perfume at all because i also have perfumes that i love and i've been using that has white flowers in it which is strange so i thought like i'm gonna gather up this perfume and i'm gonna make a list of this um, white floral scent that I like and which white floral note that is my favorite among these white flower notes. So first one is Beautiful Bell by Estee Lauder and that perfume is indeed beautiful. You could really smell, you could first imagine the white floral, a bouquet of florals in that perfume. It has tube rose, it has gardenia and orange blossom as well. So tube rose is same as jasmine that I did not like at all but surprisingly this perfume even though you could really determine the white florals in it i don't find this one um that strong at all it doesn't have that vintage scent to me to me it is very more like a spring wedding perfume and i think because of the marzipan in there as well it also have ambroxan i think the marzipan give it more of like a sweeter like there's like an almond like gourmand vibe into it so it isn't just all florals at all it is sweet and there's like a bit of a gourmand and mixed with florals in it though it is not totally soft and feminine scent i feel like it's hard to find a soft gentle flor white floral scent because i feel like white floral especially this jasmine and tube rose really has that strong overpowering scent to it so this one especially if you if you spray a lot this is also quite um, strong and overpowering this in the opening you can get that white floral scent in there that is quite a little bit strong but later on it gets softer and it gets sweeter you will get that creamy almond or nutty scent in there i really like and plus it really really lasts long on me i wear it again recently and it lasted me like all throughout more than six hours almost eight hours i could still smell it on me which i like so next is isemiyaki's ludice absolute so this one again i have another sample here so i don't like the original one i actually decluttered it i just keep it because of the bottle but the scent it has again that very strong white floral scent which um i think the jasmine in there i don't know if it's jasmine or tuberose as well but it has the white floral scent that i don't like as well which i find it really strong and overpowering to me gives me like a headache in the long run but this one surprisingly i like this this flanker or version of the ludice so this one it still have the dna of the original one i could still um, smell the white flowers in there it has tube rose freesia and night blooming cereus whatever that flower is but it looks pretty and it's white but this one it is more like um toned down compared to the original one i think it's the honey in here this one this version has a honey and i'm getting more of it in there aside from the white flowers honey and tea it is quite relaxing the honey and tea in there it made me imagine like in a peaceful afternoon sipping a cup of tea so it it is the opposite of the original to me if the original gives me makes me sick of the strength of the white floral scent in there but this one is more relaxing and sweeter compared to that so next one is another one from estee lauder and this one is modern muse so another sample and this one is actually there's a lot a bunch of white flowers in here it has a jasmine sambac the chinese jasmine so there's two types of jasmine in here there's tube rose lily and honeysuckle so looking at the nose i would probably avoid this perfume but good thing i had a sample and surprisingly it is not what i expect i just mentioned a while ago that it's hard for me to find a soft um white floral scent well this one is it it is not strong for me at all i find this one quite clean clean scent it's 
I didn't even expect it there. I know this is floral, but not the white floral scent. This is clean and feminine and good for every day. I would say just a casual feminine scent. So speaking of clean perfume, clean smelling perfume, I have here two from Clean Reserve. And this is Warm Cotton and Rain. So Rain, I have talked about this um, in my previous videos. I really love this one from their line. So this one has white white flowers that's just what it says white flowers and this one has orange blossom in it which i didn't know that it, they actually have white flowers because again they don't smell like white flowers or not the usual white flower perfumes that i have that i have um, smell or expected so this one they smells clean warm cotton smells literally like um clean laundry or newly washed cloth and then this one smells to me more earthy it smells like the rain like or the environment the ground after the rain it also smells like um after shower it smells like a soap so it is quite different than the usual white floral scent it's really clean and last one is from jean paul gaultier and this one is fleur de mal so this one is actually marketed for men so i just sneak this one out from my husband's collection because I have smelled this one and I really like it. I like to wear this one as well. It doesn't smell like too masculine. So this one got Neroli in it and chamomile. So Neroli is an essential oil which is extracted from a bitter orange tree or also known as orange blossom. So they're quite um, related, orange blossom and Neroli. So no wonder, I like them both. I find their scent a little bit similar. So that would lead me to orange blossom so i feel like my favorite white floral note is white white floral note is orange blossom because i noticed that most neroli or orange blossom perfumes i do appreciate them and i tend to enjoy wearing them they find i find them relaxing and they have that cologne or baby cologne vibe in it i don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing for you but for me i like baby cologne scent so I find this one unique because I rarely encounter a men's perfume that is floral. But I don't find this one feminine at all, nor masculine. I think this could be unisex. So I'm still getting a little bit of the original Limal in here. But still, the floral notes in here is quite dominant. So you can really tell that this perfume has floral notes in there. So another one that I should mention, I don't have the sample anymore. That is the Alien um, perfume. Strangely, I really, really like that scent and it has jasmine in it it only has three notes if i'm not mistaken and it has jasmine in it and i think jasmine is quite um dominant in that perfume as well but for some reason i really like it um especially the dry down it i had it is um clean and soft it becomes softer and clean i can't explain it but i do like it i haven't smelled it my other perfume alien is still in my wish list i know it's one of them um, old perfumes or most people have or had already but to me it's still in my wish list and i wish to have that one so that's it for today's video and the perfumes with white floral notes that i could actually enjoy wearing and my favorite among these floral notes is orange blossom so what about you do you like white florals and if does what's your favorite floral notes so thank you for watching and i hope to see you again next time